Hey guys, Gamer of Gamers in the Zone, and welcome to another episode of Toho 3. In the last episode, uh, we have gotten some much better lore from Freezing Time, like always, uh, as well as finally unlocking the last two characters. We, I was not expecting to pull it off, but we managed to get a good ending last episode. Well, not exactly good ending, we managed to 1cc it. Allowing us to finally unlock the remaining two characters. Anyway, like always, we got our usual informal comment from Freezing Time. Hi again, Gamer of Gamers. Yo-ho, you beat the game uh, 1cc. To be honest, I wasn't expecting it, since Rikako probably is the hardest character. Yeah, Ellen only has six stars, but she's way better. And your playthrough is pretty much the evidence you need. I'm glad for your success. Well, guess there's no need to tell you now what to play now since you already unlocked them. And nope, Kagaya reads differently. Uh, you need to remember that uh, you usually read as you there, not as A. Uh, it'll help read most of Toho names as intended. Okay, so Kagaya... Kagaya? Uh, or Kugaya. Kuguya. I... Which pronunciation is correct? I, I'm sure I am probably messing up a lot. Though, so, um, not gonna make that big of a deal of it right now. Why is it? That, uh, forget about it. Let's we'll just keep at it with the video. Uh, yep. Uh, Prism River Sisters is stage four bosses in Toho Seven. You guessed it right. You may wonder why I'm not telling you about them now. Well. I have a reasons for it, mostly because we'll meet again every Toho character you met earlier in spin-offs from one form or another. Kana, in fact, have pretty sad and depressing music. As you just uh, fought her in Stage 7, which is a decisive match, uh, which have its own theme, though you'll probably hear a theme in Toho uh, in the next two stories. Uh, if she's not again in stage with special music, of course. It is shameful to is it shameful to play on easy mode? Uh, well, it very much depends on a player. You know, some guys who beating Lunatic 1cc don't see beating normal 1cc as a real accomplishment, while others uh, can't even beat easy with continues. The thing about easy mode became popular after a Toho song made by fan Toho creator. I-O-S-Y-S, uh, where Raisin and Tui, uh, fifth boss and mid boss in Toho 8, uh, both rabbits, were laughing while saying, You play in easy mode? Uh, it wasn't a spell error, it was, it's intended like that. So it's more like a meme now, though many players have shame by doing it themselves. Okay, I, good point. Also, I-O-S-Y-S, I think I've heard about some of their songs before, like, I remember... I think one of their most popular ones is one called uh, Cerno's Perfect Math Class, which I'm guessing is like supposed to be one of those kind of things that makes fun of like the interpretation she gets in the games of like her being claiming to like be super smart when in actuality she's like really dumb. That's my understanding of it. Nice song, though. Though it sort of makes me uh, question what would happen if Cerno would ever be placed in uh, Baldi's Basics. <laughs> uh, anyway, continuing with Freezing Time's comment. Uh, where was I here? Okay. Is there any drawbacks in some games for playing on easy? Definitely yes. In most games, you can't get a good ending on easy. Yeah, and Toho 11, one of those. And some games have even more drawbacks. For example, you can't get to Remilia in Toho 6, because on easy mode there's only 5 stages. Uh, while Sequoia says to you uh, that you too late, try it harder next time, even if you once you see her. And yeah, uh, there is uh, a boss which harder on easy, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't intentional. It was final boss of Toho 10, Kanako Yasaka. Her last spell is harder on easy because the bullet's moving slower. 
Sounds like a logical thing for easy mode, but even if the bullets moving slower, they spawn at the same speed, so as you guess, there's more bullets on the screen because they don't have enough time for them to leave the screen. Zone made some mistakes here and there. For example, Marisa B with her 10 damage uh, when you're power between 3 and 4 because he added an extra 0 to her damage, so I wouldn't be surprised if Kanako were just another mistake, especially since it's not the obvious one. Ooh, okay, it took longer than I expected, but let's talk about Rikako. Well, there's not much I can tell you about her. Unlike most of Gen Sokyo's residents, she values science more than magic. She can use magic too, but she usually refrains uh, from doing so uh, because she has a personal dislike for it. And maybe you remember from a Reimu quote that some people think about her as a heretic because of her views. Well, that's all. Take care and good luck, uh, like in this run. Alright. Once again, thank you very much for your informal comments, freezing time. And with that, let's go ahead and, get ahead and get started on today's episode. So we're at the point where we're very close to being done with this game. We unlocked the last two characters, Chiri and Yumemi. Uh, which, considering the amount of stars they have, they're, they look overpowered, so... These last two runs are probably going to be easy for me unless the game tries to do something to make it super hard. Regardless, this will be interesting. Also, I'm kind of wondering what happened last episode. I think I remember pressing X here to, like, go back or something. And then I got someone that didn't look like Yumemi at all. I don't know if that's, like, a, from something in the code, or if that's, like, designed to be an alternate skin for Yumemi. I really don't know. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I was pressing X because I thought that was the back button. Well, regardless, uh, let's go ahead and select Cheery and get started with the episode. We're gonna do the last, um... Because, yeah, this will leave only two characters left. So let's see how powerful this character is. Wow, charge speeds are fast! I, okay. I'm immediately already liking this character. I, I do like the idea of, like, you put in the effort, now you get to play as a strong character. But I do think, uh... Because, like, if I remember curing correctly, that, like, this and, like, Toho 9 were designed to be more multiplayer-focused, if I remember hearing correctly. And I'm just left questioning, if the game's letting you play as such overpowered characters, like, what are you gonna do if you go up against an opponent that, like doesn't have these characters unlocked. I mean, sure, it just shows that, like, there's an unbalanced skill-wise, but at the same time, it's like... It's still giving the other player an unfair advantage. Alright. Fire. Okay, I got them to use their bomb, so they're definite... That definitely got their attention. Alright, they just sent a boss after me, so here we go. Okay, the impact from the enemies managed to slow them down. So I'm interested in seeing, like, is this going to be the same story? Is it going to be something different? That's what I'm interested in seeing today, is because, like, considering how well we've been doing, and, like, the fact that the story's mostly in the same outside of, like, each different character desiring something different once they get to that point of the game where, like, they can make a wish. Also, I am actually going to die. I'm not careful here, because I am at already, like, very... I'm, like, low on... Oh, no, they're, they're also low on health. Never mind. Okay, a little bit worried there, but considering the amount of hits I was taking, but I still won. Though that was only stage one, that was... Was not expecting that to be so difficult. Why are you in a doctor's robe? Yeah, so seeing from that line in particular, I can definitely see your point, freezing time, with how people interpret... What was her name? Rikako? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. Hmm. 
Mima already got to summon her boss enemy. Alright, luckily I, I did not mean to activate that yet. Oh well, I... It's fine. I can spam a bunch of level 2 projectiles now. Although they are still able to whip out Mima on my side of the field. Although luckily the attacks unleashed by Mima's boss are rather easy. So we should have a fairly simple time here with Mima's boss enemy. Although combined with regular attacks, I did end up getting hit in the end. So I guess I kind of underestimated Mima there. Doesn't matter, I still won. That's all that matters in the end. I'm noticing, like, it mentions stuff like boss panic there. What does that mean exactly? Haha, you really need to review the basics. I don't know, I'm really not paying much attention to how these point systems work. Not that it's that big of a deal, since I only get... I'm able to get one extra life anyway to... Oh, uh, okay. I have no idea what's going on. I, I'm i gonna quick use a bomb, because I'm actually a little bit worried right now about what's happening. I'm actually getting hit quite a bit, so... I should be a bit careful here. Alright, let's unleash a strong attack. Oh, that's right. Uh, the higher level charge shots are just streaming attacks for Chiri. That's right. I completely forgot about that. Her, her attacks are useless with the charged ones. Uh, although characters have been getting hit by them, they are dodging them pretty much flawlessly. So I think if I want to do good with this character, I am going to need to summon her boss. Uh, if I want to deal some decent damage to my opponent. So, okay, they're getting up to full power charge shot here, so this will be a good opportunity. They didn't fire full power? Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I am already about to die. Alright. Okay, that was close. How am I doing so bad early on in the game? Man, I want magic too. Alright, our good old pal Raymu is up next. I got an itch on my leg, raise I'm in the middle of a important video. With a game that regularly needs my full attention for me to do well. Firing a strong attack. Like always, though, it's nothing dangerous. Alright, full power. Not sure if I should fire just yet, though. Okay, actually, they're pretty much out of health, so I think it would, this would be the best time to fire full power. Because I can just finish her off, pretty much. Oh, that's right, I forgot to keep in mind her bombs. Alright, it's fine. I, I'm doing pretty good. Alright, she's sending her boss after me now. And it doesn't matter, because I won. Alright, moving on. Looks like you need more training. Alright, next, I did not pay attention to who I was up against next, so I have no idea who I'm fighting. Uh, judging from the looks, I would say probably either Marisa or one of the other characters. Though none of the other characters wear hats, so I'm thinking it has to be Marisa. Alright, almost 
almost at full power. All right now, let's get ready here, because Maurice is about to... Full power, go! Oh, I got kind of cornered there. I didn't quite see what kind of boss they sent at Dermy, so I couldn't... Still can't tell yet who I'm fighting. Although that should uh, buy me some time. Well, I would say that if it weren't for the fact that I just got hit again. And that one was probably the quickest one out of all of them. That... That went way too fast. <laughs> now, considering her attack, so I don't think that was Marisa. I wonder if I could get an outfit like that for myself. Okay, this is Marisa. That was probably just one of the other characters. That I was facing earlier. Okay, this is most definitely Marisa. Yep, that's Maurice, all right. Always oh, unleashing the ridiculously hard attacks. I mean, not an unfair amount of hard, but the kind of attacks that require you to think and like require you to play the game and stuff. Those kind of attacks. All right, here we go. Full power. Now the tables have turned. Alright, we landed some pretty good hits on her, so we're off to a good start. a flawless victory this round. Okay, so block boss flip is when you uh, counter a boss by sending a boss at your opponent. Okay, that's what a boss flip is. Just one more left. Let's do this. We got Gotohimi next. Uh, okay. I think out of all the themes, this one's definitely one of my favorites in the game. Just... Yes! Oh, and I managed to reach a point threshold to summon a boss. Yep, there we go. Oh yeah, I have enough to summon another boss, and I just got hit. Meanwhile, my opponent has not been hit once. That's about to change now, though. Oh, you can shoot those enough times for okay. Oh, jeez, I'm stuck. Okay, moving on. Okay, we're beginning to make progress. Oh, they already got to send a boss after me? Oh, jeez, those were coming straight down on me. I'm gonna bomb it. Just for safe measures. Okay. Okay, beginning to get a bit chaotic in here. And victory. That was close. Moving on. Alright, now we get to see the story. 
No one was much trouble. Some were a bit more trouble than I expected, but what matters is that I didn't die. Well, that's everyone. I guess it's time to go in. What do we got? Sorry, what? what? Wanted to make it look like I was flipping the switch myself. It feels... It feels like I remember some of this. Don't move. What? So you're the strongest magic user, are you? Come with me immediately. Hey, wait a minute. This may look small, but it's a lethal weapon. If I like how this alternate version of herself is not questioning the existence of her alternative self right here. Hey, why are you me any- Okay, now she's questioning. I'm right as I say that. Are you an imposter? Dun 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 I- I- I couldn't resist, guys. I- I could not resist. Just... That- the internet has ruined the word imposter for me. It-, it that's- that's what it's done to me. Uh, or am I just imagining things? Well, there's no sense to <coughs> sense talking about it out here. Hey, hey, who told you to grant such poor hospitality? But but she's oh, it would have been funnier if she whacked both of us. You're scaring the guest we've been waiting for. Wait, what? Uh, you don't have to introduce yourselves. I think I got it. I see. Uh, it's this world's very own Shiri, I think. I, I'm... I'm not sure if this game's going to the concept of alternative dimensions or, like, parallel universes. Or, uh... If, like, this game is incentivizing time travel going on here. I mean, considering the fact that there's lots of characters capable of using magic, I wonder if there are some capable of performing time travel. We don't... So far, we haven't seen any characters like that yet, though. I know there's, like, characters like Sequoia that can, like, stop time and others that can slow down time, but none that have truly been capable of completely, like, going back in time or going forward in time. We haven't really seen anything like that yet. Anyway, moving on. Uh, wait, which is which? Well, if we fought it out, the one that wins uh, is this world's cheery. No way, the stronger one would be the crew member of this ship. Never mind, I think I've figured it out. Anyway, do as you please, and I'll do some research. Okay, let's go. That is a neat little concept, like the two already know each other, so they don't even have to bother with introductions. That's a neat little dynamic. some good hits with the... Uh... can't tell what those are. are. those supposed to be, like, spirits? Uh, that, like, are those flares that are being fired at me? That's something I can never figure out, though, considering the type of content Soho is, I... Oh, no, that was not full power. Okay. So I failed to perform a boss flip, unfortunately. Alright, I decided to use a bomb there for safe me... And I still have to deal with the boss anyway. Okay. Alright, then. I thought I was through, but then, of course, an enemy had to run into me. So I am not off to a good start right now. Uh, there we go. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, that's cool. I just realized that the game is having alternate colors uh, for, like, the alternate cheery. That's a good way of identifying things. Kind of like uh, the nice red versus blue formula and stuff in games like Team Fortress 2. And... 
Also, guys, no, I'm not interested in playing Team Fortress 2 on the channel, mainly because that game... its community can be a bit, uh... wild. That, that, that's how I'm gonna put it. Oh, jeez. What is happening? I don't know, but I decided to unleash my full power charge shot. Alright, I need to keep an eye out on the game. Otherwise, I am not going to survive. I'm scared. I am just gonna fire a bomb just to be safe, and it turns out that there's another boss on screen. I, I'm in trouble. I'm actually about to lose. I just lost. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? That... Hmm. That's a lot to take in. Okay, I can fire a boss now. Why don't we do it now? Just so we can get this out of the way. Try, try to send the boss as many times as possible. Because they sure are taking... They, they sort of prefer weaker the weaker attacks over trying to send a boss after us. So I don't think it's going to be worthwhile to focus on trying to hold on to a boss. Of course, I say that right as they moments after send a boss after me. Alright, I'm going to fire... And, okay, we both... The I need to pay attention to the game, because I, I pay was paying attention a bit there to their screen, and not my own screen. And I just wasted another bomb. I just wasted it. Alright, so this time, I'll try keeping an eye out for... Uh, I'm going to keep an eye out for when they s send their boss after me. Which seems to be now. Oh, only for them to immediately get it sent back at them, and... Okay, I'll do that, it's... I... That was not part of the plan. The game, on its own, decided to fire the boss for me. There was nothing I could do that... I, I am, like, backed into a corner right now. I... I sh don't think I should be having this t part of a time. Yet, here we are. Alright, it's okay. Wanna know why? Because uh, I'm in a position where I pretty much already won CC the game and I got hit by an easy attack. Great. And I, I should get out of that, otherwise I'm gonna be cornered. What's happening? I can't tell what's happening and the game is giving me no time at all to charge up an attack. Alright, well, now what's happening? I cannot tell what's happening at all. I'm, I'm bombing it. So I cannot tell what's happening at all. D could that boss go down? I appreciate what the game's doing for me, but uh, it's it's not helping. I that should have taken that out. I should not have gotten hit there. I am going to get game over on the second to last boss rather than the final stage this time around which considering our performance last time I'm quite disappointed considering how well things were going and then things just go downhill like this Oh, that's right, I'm already at full power. Okay, get full power ready. They're firing theirs. I'll fire mine. So they don't even get the chance to see their boss appear on screen. Ah! Did you see how many... Uh, of course, I don't, e I don't even get hit by a boss, but rather by a regular enemy. There is too much on screen right now. Could we calm down for a bit? Like, look at this. I, I just wasted another bomb. Okay, no, this is not the run. Unless I get super lucky and the bot decides to take themselves out. This, this, this is not the run. Alright, that's... Again, though, 
already in 1 cc the game. We don't need to 1 cc the game again. We just need to get the good endings at this point. That's all I need to do and I'll be satisfied. Okay, they're down to their last hit. Should I speed things up by firing a charge shot now? Or should I wait to counter with my own boss again? Uh, or just not wait at all and win the match. Okay. I won. I lost, well, to myself, but still. So... You, that is this world's cheery. I see you can use magic. I noticed it when you were fighting. Uh, won't you please fight me now? What? Why? So I can observe you more closely. Well, what are you waiting for? You're pushy. Uh, you're so unfair, even for cheery. You can do things that I can't. So I want to be able to use magic too. I can't do it either. Enough out of you. Uh, don't make this any more confusing, jeez. Well, I guess I'm fine fighting you. So, somehow being called Ya by Chiri pisses me off. Anyway, here I go. Alright, let's go. Final stage time. Let's see if the game will be generous with me today or not. I mean, regardless of if it is or not, again, I only need to beat her regardless of how many continues it takes, since I just need to beat her, and then I can get the ending, and that'll leave only one episode left of Toho 3, and then I'll have uh, pretty much done everything, because, I mean, there's really no, like, uh, extra stages in this or anything, from what I can tell. Uh, so that would mean that I've technically done everything. Haha! -ha! I would say my only reason to play this again would be to play on the harder difficulties, which, considering the kind of game and unpredictability it, it has, it could be possible to uh, do that, but at the same time, considering the skill level I've shown in these videos, I don't feel ready to be playing these particular gameplay styles on any higher difficulties yet. If I can't even ha handle some of the other Toho games on higher difficulties. And yeah, I, I think I'm just going to be sticking to normal difficulty for now. Oh, I thought I had enough power there. That's fine. Okay, a lot's happening on screen at once. I think I'm gonna... I thought I pressed the bomb button. What? What was that? I thought I pressed the bomb button. Am I not allowed to use bombs when firing charge shots? Get back... <laughs> Get back to work. You don't have... Don't you have cleaning up to do? Yes, I clean up my own dead body. Yes. Also, don't worry, guys. I, I know that Don Maku is non-lethal. I just... I'm just making stuff up for my own enjoyment. <laughs> Alright, well, I did die. But again, not that big of a deal since my main focus is towards, again, just simply trying to get through this. Take that. 
Oh, sorry, I still gotta activate the full power gauge. I'm not paying attention at all. Well, it's probably not gonna last long considering the fact that her uh, charge gauge is also almost full. I need to pay more attention to those orbs. Yep, here we go. Also, I did not mean to fire that strong of a charge shot. Yet, here we are. I don't know why I'm not just using my bombs here, because that's kind of what I need at this point. Let's just, just use a bomb. I didn't charge up anything. What, what just happened? I didn't charge up anything. Ha! Gotcha! Still got hit, though, so I'm gonna have to be... Okay, I won. Victory is mine. Did, unfortunately, cost me a continue, but... Still relatively good. That was incredible, Cheery. Uh, that's just the, the kind of power I'm looking... Oh, is the other alternate Cheery gonna get jealous? Come, let's return together and run some more tests. Hey, wait a second. That cherry is from this world. If you try to kidnap her, the energy imbalance will get us nabbed by the parallel police. Oh, so it is going into the logic of parallel universes. Ha! <laughs> if we keep quiet, no one will know. Is that something someone who teaches should say? Oh, shut up. Besides, if I leave this cherry here in this world, it should be fine. Hey, come on. Quit joking around. It's a joke, a joke. Anyway, we've collected sufficient data... Uh, so we're going home to analyze it. Sounds good. Thank you, this world's cheery. Is that it? Oh no, there's a bit more. Okay. Later. Alright, now that we've returned, let's start compiling the data so we can present it to the Academy. Cheery, come help me for a bit. Uh, coming. Eh? Looks like she tagged along after all. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, it sounded so interesting, uh, so I had to see what was up. What? Uh, no, because of the energy imbalance, now we won't have enough power to go back uh, to the other world. Uh, we're fine as long as we don't get caught. That's not the problem. And so you made me slightly, um, tumultuous life with two cheeries continue. Is that like, uh... I don't think I've ever heard that word before. I'm not sure if that... Either I'm reading it incorrectly or... Something else. I don't know. Okay, I do like how with this particular ending, it actually, like, confirms that, yes, there are basically parallel... Parallel universes. To answer that, we need to talk about parallel universes. I am four parallel universes ahead of you. I, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just watch, um... Go watch, uh... Terminal Montage. He does a lot of really funny animations. And I believe the one, the one I'm referring to is, uh... His, like, Speedrunner Mario versus, uh, Fox. Which is, I believe, a part of his Something Versus series. I know it's definitely not the first time on the channel I've mentioned Terminal Montage, because I think I've mentioned at one point that uh, it was Terminal Montage's something about Super Metroid animation animated speedrun that got me into playing the Metroid games. Anyway, uh, we should be wrapping up here in a little bit. Otaka. And 
something. Amusement makers. Okay, that just leaves only one episode left. So, things were definitely quite different, because, like, rather than, you know, the character getting their wish and stuff, since it's, like, one of the final boss characters, it led to, like, things going in a more interesting direction, and very make it makes me very interested to, to see what uh, Yumemi's ending is. Or, sorry, Cheery, I... I am not paying attention to names at all. <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyway. Oh, we didn't even make it the high score at all. Okay. Oh, well, our previous run where we got to the final stage made it, but nothing else, unfortunately. That being said, we're now only one episode to go, and then... Uh, based off the comments that you guys gave, I believe I'll probably be moving on to Toho 12 next, but... Anyway here, Yumemi's strong, like, she has max speed and max power. The only thing she doesn't have maxed out is her charge speed, which I'm certain is still quite strong. Like, you've seen how much I've struggled with her boss, so I definitely think that out of all the attacks she has, I'll probably be focusing for towards those full power boss shots just because of how powerful the boss is. That, like, unless the bot is, like, just decides no, I'm pretty much guaranteed a hit with, uh, Yumemi's attack. Okay, Yumemi is the final boss. Jerry is this one. Okay. Uh, but with that being said, uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Only one character left, and then we're done with this game, so... Uh, look forward, guys, to the finale of Toho 3 next time. Uh, so until then, this is the Gamer of Gamers, and stay excellent, everyone!